Welcome, you have reached review time with Imperial. Today's review will be Bumblebee, the second favorite Transformer of all time. Let's get into it. So, uh, Bumblebee, didn't know how to take this uh, movie, but I wasn't surprised that they was doing this movie because Bumblebee, since the Transformer movies have started, Bumblebee has been a fan favorite. Growing up, it was always Optimus Prime, but Bumblebee has came on to be a strong fan favorite over the course of the Transformers movies. So this movie is basically a prequel. This is how uh, the Transformers originated on Earth. If you remember the first Transformers that came out with Shao Bello, he was already, they were already here. And, um, things transpire from there. This shows where it comes in, it's showing the uh, vintage look of the Transformers where it shows them um, on their planet and their plan is about to fall. They at war. Optimus Prime looks at Bumblebee, uh, calls him B-122 or something. I'll tell him to go to Earth. He, so he found a planet called Earth that they could set up base there and relocate. And he dips off. Meanwhile, Optimus Prime is fighting off the rest of uh, um, Decepticons. So, B travels to Earth, comes through like a flaming fireball. John Cena is doing a training um, op with his group in B lands where they are, he comes out and they instantly they're trying to attack B, and he's just trying to get away from them or whatever. So, in the process of him, um, in the process of him defending himself, one of the Decepticons come and uh, basically follows B to Earth, and he shows up. It was two, I think it was two of them, it was two of them, and they show up, and they're trying to shoot B, or whatever, so, the humans instantly get to see, like, uh, necessary, he's not all bad, somebody else is trying to kill him, so he's in a fight with them, and they're trying to tell him, ask him where his prime at, and he pretty much, I'm not telling you nothing, so, they, uh, the thing rips, um, Bumblebee's, uh, vocal cords out so that's how he lost his voice or whatever his vocal cords were ripped out and then um, shot down and then uh, he landed and pretty much he um, he uh, scrolled over and he was wounded he ended up killing the um, Decepticon but then he was wounded where he pretty much uh, he was losing his memory so he was able to frame a vehicle that he could turn into and he framed himself in that vehicle and then hurry up and just uh he phased out that vehicle ended up at the junkyard mean meanwhile um Haley steamfield which is the lead uh of the f film her name is charlie and she's pretty much um her dad passed away years ago he was in the cars and so she took a bathroom, so she's in the cars and fixing cars, and she's linked with the guy at the junkyard. So you pretty much get to see how she's going to link with B through that way. And she's kind of like her mom has moved on since her father, but she hasn't. And her mother has a new husband or new man, and she's not all together, you know, with that. So um, they has a, a strained relationship between her and her mother. She has a little brother, and um, it goes on from there. Meanwhile, um, the Decepticons are trying to find out where Prime is, and they give the information. So they get one of the Autobots and pretty much um, torture him to try to get information. And so um, she asks the guy to jump your hey, let me... Let me get this car. It's her birthday. She she she's falling out of hope of her birthday. 
she used to be a good swimmer, but as soon as her dad died, she fell out of love with swimming. And it's her birthday, and she ain't getting no real good gifts. And she's down on her luck. She asked the, you know, the junkyard dude, hey, if I get this car running, will you give me the car? And he pretty much, he gave it to her. And so she got it running, and when she got home, now she has a big garage, you know, auto body as a garage and the, like part of the car fell off and she goes to his, basically his bees like part of his arm, armor for his arm. When she goes to put it back on, she comes across his eyes. Of course she's seen that in the trailer and then he instantly transforms uh, once he sees that. But he doesn't have memory of who he is because he lost his memory or whatever. So he just basically like um a deer in headlights like he know he's something but he doesn't really have memory of what he's on earth for and everything like that so um that sends a signal back to wherever saying that hey i'm in earth and meanwhile two decepticons are torturing the autobot and they they retrieve the signal so they're headed to earth at this moment. So now you start to get the bond between Charlie and she names him Bubble Bee. That's where he got his name from. And she takes his old school radio out, put a newer radio in, and then it was um he started to get his he uses that like you've been seeing in the other movie as his speech to say little things. The soundtrack for this film is Real good. It got a lot of 80s um, theme music in there. They had the Mr. T serial in there. So, a lot of 80s theme movie and everything like that. So, she develops her bond. Um, the two main Decepticons want to come there. They befriend the army, letting them think that, hey, we're coming to help your planet or whatever. Not to hurt your planet, but we need to get access to all your information and data to find the, the, the real person that's a threat. And they nipple the late in the army getting information. So they want to get all the information so they can send a signal back to their um, Decepticon to trigger them to come in. Meanwhile, you know, Bumblebee is wanted and. It's a whole bunch of different adventure twists and turns. So it was a decent film overall. Uh, you know, so it's a uh, it's watchable. You can sit there and watch it. Um, uh, it won't you won't be bored with it. You won't be bored with it. And it, it kind of like I think me I'm doing this review kind of later than. Um, not so much later, but you know, it's not. It hasn't been a week yet, or whatever. But it's in it's in competition with all these other movies. You got Aquaman and all that. So it's kind of like, you know, if this would have came like a week before Christmas, it would have been uh, probably number one box office. But it was a decent film. Another addition to the Transformer. I've been seeing the previews where they said best Transformer movie ever. Nah, don't want to say that. The bond between Charlie's character and Bumblebee is probably the best, uh, is is way better than the bond between um, Shao Belu's character and Bumblebee. I say that their bond was greater. And, and of course, at the end of the movie, she had to let B go and said that he pretty much, he got some things to do and she got things to do on her end. And um, it shows Bumblebee, he links up with, um, Optimus Prime and Prime say you did well and you know what I'm saying um, we got to protect Earth and all and then it shows the rest of the Autobots coming through the sky to come join join them so that's basically how it ended the movie ended or whatever so like I said it's like a prequel so it was it was a um, pretty it was decent film or whatever I, without giving you like spoilers I, I gave you enough spoilers with it course it's different moments throughout the um different things that happen throughout the movie but I just gave you the main the main points. Bumblebee and her stopped the two Decepticons from 
triggering their signal to their Decepticon group or whatever. They stopped them and um, saved the day, saved Earth rather. So other than that, out of my four star rating system, I give this a 2.5 out of four stars. Decent film. Um, you won't be disappointed when you watch it. Subscribe and like, share the video, comment. Till next time, stay tuned.